Okay. Um, what's the next thing that we're going to look at? Okay. Um, this is, uh, basically... It's not the deformation. Um, it's basically the change in length. Change in length. Um, and that's what this symbol is that I'm about to show you. This is um, a lowercase delta, which the official Greek version is this. Uh, that's also what Dr. Christo will use. Um, what you'll see a lot is this. If you look up, look it up uh, online or anything, um, anything like that, because this is uh, just what caught on for partial derivatives. It's not the actual uh, delta symbol, but it is what caught on. Uh, so if you look something up online, expect to see that. And then you might also see delta L, right? And this is just from our physics, we know this is a change in the length. That's all delta is. So this is delta, this is delta, so it should be kind of familiar. So we've got the change in length, that's what delta is. Uh, deformation. Uh, let's expand this. Uh, deformation. This should make so much sense if it's explained right, and if it's explained crappily, then it will make no sense whatsoever. Okay, so the deformation, and uh, let me make sure that I get this, yes, okay. The deformation is represented by this symbol. It is a lowercase epsilon in the Greek alphabet. What is this equal to? Well, this is equal to basically the percent change in length because of stress. So basically what it means is if it, uh, for example, if, if you have a 10 inch piece of rubber and you pull it and you stretch it to 11 inches, well then you increased it by 10%. That's the deformation. And what that is, is you'll see it written as um, delta over L, and basically what that means is that it's the amount that the length changed divided by what the length was originally. So that's the, uh, the de that's the deformation. Uh, at least I think I have that word correct. Uh, I keep forgetting my terms. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I have that word right. Um, okay, so, what, did I, what am I missing? I am missing the elasticity modulus. Okay, this is ugly. Um, or rather, kind of ugly, kind of not, but, uh, either way. Did I do this wrong? I did do this wrong. God damn it, I always do this wrong. Okay, this is the change in length, or the deformation. Basically, how much something changes is how much it's deformed, right? You say that something is deformed, that means it's kind of bent out of shape, it's, it's changed from how it should be. Um, this right here is the strain. Uh, so basically, uh, this means that if you are trying to stretch something one inch, and it's originally ten inches, that's uh, like kind of like a ten percent strain, right? Whereas, if it was originally a hundred inches, it's going to be only one percent strain, so it's going to be a lot easier. So basically, strain is the percent change uh, in length caused by some sort of force or stress or whatever. That is what strain is. Deformation is this change. Deformation is how much the length is deformed, right, because we're not looking at bending. Um, let me get rid of all this crap. Why is it still here? Um, but for example, so if you had a rubber thing, and you put, if you had like a piece of rubber, and it's 10 inches long, so the length is 10 inches, and let me draw this, you have a piece of rubber, 10 inches long, oh yeah, that's good with a line tool, 10 inches long, and um, you pull it, and it, uh, it gets bigger by one inch. Uh, it gets bigger by one inch. So, inches... Okay. Um, so, what numbers do we have? Well, you have the change in length, right? That's the one inch that we got. That's the deformation. That's delta. 
That's how much this piece of rubber was deformed by that force or whatever. Uh, and then the strain is just this one inch over ten. So it's one tenth or ten percent. Uh, or point one. That's the that's what you get for the strain. Point one. Right? Because uh, if you were to try to say uh, stretch this five inches, the strain would be point five. Or uh, if this was twenty, it would be point oh two or whatever. Um, basically, the strain is how much you stretch it divided by how much how long it originally was. And the same thing applies if you're compressing something, because uh, as we showed uh, with axial stress, whether you're pulling something or pushing on something, it's the same. So um, hopefully that clarifies what those four things are. And now the final one, yay, we are back to the English alphabet. Good. Okay. So this is called the elas elasticity. Geez, that's hard to spell. Modulus. And what the hell is that? Okay, this is something that depends on the material. Pl uh, plastics have a really low one. Stretchy things have a really low one. Metals have a really high one. And what is it? Well, um, elasticity. Let me make sure, I make sure I've got this right. Yes. The elasticity modulus um, is represented by the letter E. Represented by the letter E. And E is not equal to mc squared in this case. E is equal to the axial stress, the stress divided by uh, the strain. So stress over strain. Right? You probably remember hearing that from Dr. Christo and being like, what? Um, okay, so that's what the elasticity modulus is. Be careful not to confuse E and Epsilon, because they are very different. They're entirely different languages, and uh, they have different meanings. Uh, so what does this basically mean? Uh, this pretty much tells you that um, it's, it's kind of like a measure of how much you have to press on, or rather, how much stress you have to put a material under in order to deform it, say, 10%, right? Because we said, whoops, I should probably move this back. Because um, we said that the strain is kind of like the percent deformity, right? How, um, what percentage you changed it, and it's, it's represented in decimal, like 0.1, but that's 10%. Um, so it's kind of like a percent. And uh, the axial stress is how much stress it's under. Um, actually, I'm going to continue this in my next video, so uh, I'll see you then.